How to use your iPad as a teleprompter, part 3, Teleprompt plus Script Management. This video shows how to create, organize, and manage Teleprompt plus version 3 scripts. Teleprompt has two modes, Prompt mode and Edit mode. Prompt mode displays the scrolling prompt text. Edit mode lets you manage prompt scripts and change program options. To switch from prompt to edit mode, press the lower right corner of the screen to show the controls if they're not already visible, then click the X at top right. To switch from the edit mode to the prompt mode, click start prompting at the center at the bottom of the window. You must have a prompt script selected to open the prompt mode. Using the edit mode, if you don't see the script management column on the left, drag the edge of the prompt script. Here are the functions to create and manage prompt scripts. For text entry, I'm using the Logitech Bluetooth keypad slash case for the iPad. If you enter text with the on-screen keyboard, you will sometimes have to close the keyboard display to press hidden teleprompt entries. To add a new script group, groups are like folders. Press the groups button at the top if the groups are not already displayed. Press plus at the bottom of the screen. Type the name of your new group, then press add group. To change a group name, display the groups, press edit, press the name to change, make any necessary changes, then either press done at the top of the iPad screen or press return on your keypad. To sort the groups manually, press groups, Press Edit. Drag the symbol at the right of a group to move it in the list. When you're finished rearranging the names, press Done. To delete a group, press Edit. Select the group to be deleted. Don't click on the name of the group. Click on the icon or to the left of the icon for the group to select it. And selected groups are marked with a check mark. Once you've selected the groups you want to delete, press delete at the bottom. Confirm the delete. To move a script from one group to another, Display the group containing the script, then press Edit. Select the script or scripts to be moved. Then press Move at the bottom. Select the destination group, and since they were in my scripts, I'll move them to my new group. There's a confirmation message. You need to get rid of it by clicking OK. To sort the scripts in a group, for the manual sort, press the sort icon, select manual if it's not already selected, then press done. Now for the manual sort, press edit. As you did for the groups, press the symbol to the right of each script you want to move and drag it. When you're finished rearranging, click Done. For the other types of sort, press the sort symbol. Select which type of sort you want, either by alphabetical or by date. Let's do alphabetical. It has already sorted them in ascending order alphabetically. If you want them sorted descending, press it. Sorts it instantly. When you're through sorting whatever options you've picked, Click Done. 
to enter a new script. If you haven't created any groups, you can press the default My Scripts, but I have created a group. So let's look at the group list and let's select my new group. To enter a script for that new group, click plus at the bottom, press the script name field, type the name of the new script, click in the content box, type the content or the prompt text for that new script. When you're finished typing the content, just do something else. There is no save or end edit or anything like that. So anything you do, that stuff gets saved. So let's reveal the script list by dragging. And let's look at my new script. And that is my new script, so it got saved. You didn't have to click anything else after you typed the content of the new script. And by the way, if you're going to create a new script that's long, I recommend creating and editing it on a desktop or laptop and then importing it into Teleprompt. To import a script from Dropbox or Google Drive, and I'll use Dropbox, press the import symbol, which is the second from the left at the bottom. Select the source folder, which is the Dropbox. It shows you what's on the Dropbox. You can select which file you want to import. Press Import at the bottom. Part 4 script has been imported. Let's select it. To export a script, display the scripts. They are currently displayed. Press the export symbol at the bottom, which is the third from the left. Select the script to be exported. Let's go ahead and export the new script. Press export. Destination folder, let's put it on the Dropbox. It shows you where on the Dropbox it's going. Go ahead and say export here. It gives you a successful message at the bottom. To delete a script, show a script list containing the script. Press edit. Select the script to delete. Press delete at the bottom. Confirm the delete. And make the confirmation message go away. For additional help, Bombing Brain, the developer of the program, provides extensive online help. Just press the question mark. As you can see, there are many types of help on that screen. What I really would suggest you do is go to a desktop, go to the Bombing Brain website and download the user's guide for Teleprompt Plus from their website onto your desktop. That way you can read the user's guide on your desktop while you're using Teleprompt on your iPad. Much easier to work that way. If you enjoyed this Tom's Tech Notes video, please like it and leave a comment. To watch my other videos or to read many computer help articles, please visit my YouTube channel or my website at the URLs shown here. There are links in the video description. When thumbnails appear, click the one at upper left to watch other videos in this playlist. Click at lower left to open a related playlist showing how to take photos and videos with the SLRs. Click my photo to visit the Tom's Tech Notes channel. To subscribe, click the red button. If you don't see the red button, hover over my photo to show it.